watching a movie. You are watching a movie? Y yes, ma. Will you come inside my room and watch this time with me? Be be before I slap your face into a movie. Every day, movie, movie, movie. Don't forget your Bible and jot that. Hundred and thirty nine million cards will be given to mothers today, and it is the second largest gift giving day, surpassed only by Christmas. And so, I think it would be in order if we said thanks to our mothers, our grandmothers, our great grandmothers, maybe even a great 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 grandmother that might be here. Would all the mothers of the house at every campus stand to your feet and let us say how much we honor, appreciate, and don't know what in the world we would do without you? Why are you not clapping? Of the house. Yeah, let's hear it for them. Come on. Ephesians chapter 6, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Watch this. That it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. One of the top 10 commandments is to honor your mother, honor your parents. And the question is, how do you honor your mother? And so I want to give you about seven quick things of how to honor your mother. Where is your job at? Number one, love your mother unconditionally. Write it down. No matter what, the way that you honor your mother is to love her unconditionally. Love her when she's young and love her when she's old. Love her when she has something to give and when she has nothing left to give. You are commanded to love her unconditionally. Secondly, hug her affectionately. We are to not only love our mother unconditionally, but we are to hug her, kiss her affectionately because they need it. Tell her that you love her. Mama, I love you. Come on, shut up your mouth. Number three. You better concentrate. Listen to her attentively. Listen to them. They know what they're talking about. Pastor, please help me tell him. Make them feel valuable. Make them feel that what they have to say is important because they listen to you attentively. From the time you cried all your life, you've talked to them about your greatest problems and your greatest challenges, and now they are in a season maybe when they need you to listen attentively. Number four, help her cheerfully. Mothers are the greatest helpers in the world. They do what? things that money cannot pay people to do. They are amazing. Because of that, don't act like she's a bother. Don't act like that when they ask you for something that it's an inconvenience. But help her cheerfully. Love her unconditionally. Hug her often affectionately. And understand her sympathetically. Number five, understand, this is how you honor your mother, by understanding her sympathetically. Ojo! Ma? Were you sleeping? Me? No! I was not sleeping! So what were you doing? Uh, I was meditating on the world! What? You were meditating on the world? Yes, ma! Okay! What was number five? Number five! Number five! He said, help, help your mother cheerfully! What was number four? I said, what was number five? Number five? <laughs> Give me your belt. Mama, please wait. He, he, he said, understand your mother sympathetically. You are a very lucky boy. What I would have done to you today? 
you be sleeping when the very important sermon is going on? Sleep one more time and you will see what I will do to you today. No, 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 nonsense. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you. May the Lord. Is the sermon over? What of number six and seven? Six and seven. Mama, I think he said it when you were talking. So, that means if you were not sleeping, we would have heard it. Hey! I hear me, take me, by me. 